star skin? That's the best I can do. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Doctors don't give up that easily. What else am I supposed to do? The route back to the Alchemy Commission has disappeared, and we're in the field without the right medicine or supplies. Besides, we have no record of this disease at all. These symptoms are consistent with someone about to be stricken with Mara. According to his medical record, this man is barely over 200 years old. He only just joined the Cloud Knights. How can he possibly be Mara-struck? Why don't you take another look? <sighs> Goes on like this. The judges of the Ten Lords Commission will have to come out and clean up this mess. First time seeing these symptoms up close, being stricken with Mara is more terrible than I imagine. Hurry, find beds for the patients from the other delves and stabilize them. Remember to minimize contact. We don't want your people to succumb to the same evil. Yeah, 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 the Realm Keeping Commission is out in full strength. What about the Alchemy Commission? Why are there so few of you here? Do you mean... out in full force? Hey, Missy, does this look like a classroom to you? Concentrate on treating the patients. Everyone, please remain calm. This is an announcement from the Realm Keeping Commission General Bureau. Exalting Sanctum is temporarily closing its borders and navigation routes. The details will be outlined in the official bulletin sent to your Jade Abacus soon. If you feel unwell, please report to the Realm Keeping Commission as soon as possible. We have doctors from the Alchemy Commission here who will see you free of charge. Oh. Uh, we will be distributing a bag of protein rice and emergency medicine to each of you. You can collect the supplies from me in person, or the Commission can deliver them to your door. Please register with your Jade Abacus bracelet. Oh, you might see. Please sign here. I heard there's a problem with their Meridian pin. Some Diviners and Stargazers managed to escape the Delve. Many of them were terrified. They were muttering about plants and roots. Something terrible must have happened there. Do you have friends trapped in the delve? If you're worried about them, find a diviner and see if they can tell you what happened. I want to say it's all in a day's work, but I've been here for 12 hours already. When will this end?
Nice. The future of Bellabog shines bright. The heavens are vast. The kite flies where it wishes. That was terrifying. Thank goodness the Yes, that child's usually hidden away. What sh I heard the knights affected by the evil- Don't scare yourself. The Alchemy Commission's Dragon Lady can cure anything. This is an announcement from the realm. Can I help you with anything? On well, a day's work, although I've been standing here for 12 hours now, I just want this to be o- uh, No, I think I need to take a break. When it rains, it pours. The Artisanship Commission has its own issues. Sounds serious, too. Go and inform the Cloud Knights. See if you can... Oh, my apologies. I'm an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. Judging by your address, you must be visitors to the Law Fu. Sorry, the Xian Zhou is currently caught in... unusual circumstances. But the Cloud Knights will resolve the issues as soon as possible. For safety reasons, please stay in your residence and refrain from going out for the time being. If the port is still open, I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. Though, I heard the route may have been... Uh, temporarily suspended. Oh, that reminds me. I have a friend with a Starskiff and a travel permit. He could help you and your friends get over quickly. The price is... fair and negotiable. What do you think? Well now, you must be quite special. Hey, don't spread this around, but this isn't some small-scale maintenance drill. The General has sent the Cloud Knights to check for hidden dangers. You may not need it right now, but if there's any help I can give you, come to me anytime. Excuse me, fella. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the Dragon Lady and those exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed. The Dragon Lady of the Alchemy Commission, Lady Bailu. You mean the child? She's starting to sound like a big shot. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General commissioned guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing.
What does that mean? It's just a picture. Are we supposed to meet someone there? It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. We'll be fossils by the time you're finished. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Ching Chue. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. All right. Is this a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? <laughs> Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. Oh, uh, hi there. I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guests. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! But folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. Pass! Pass! So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Four of a kind! And wouldn't that be more fun, too? Better to show you the real exalting sanctum and introduce you to a true Sianjo pastime, Celestial Jade! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> <sighs> now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm for this celestial... Jade game has stoked my curiosity. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. You clearly have excellent taste. If you're interested, I can show you... Ah, look. Is that a... It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo Lafu's prized treasure. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. 
but according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from it celestial bodies hung. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. So, how big was it? Bigger than the Express? Bigger than Herta Space Station? No, that can't be right. Stars hung from its branches. Then, how did it fit in the Sienjo? Exactly. Let's just say it was bigger than your imagination. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go. You'd be a tool to miss a tile in the pool. I don't you believe in ghosts. Clean to your star skiff service. <laughs> We're almost there, everyone. Stay close. Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. You may be the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention... <laughs> Please, don't push your buttons. We're just here for the questioning. We'll leave as soon as it's over. No match for me.
sound lingers. Existence is unity. Some value, I suppose. Leave it to me. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. begin. So that's how it works. Is that all? Good. Grace and elegance. Existence is unity. Let's make it quick. My turn. Some about. Let's go.
so strange. Oh, let me guess, the gate isn't working? Key. Hey, I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests. Are you really from the Divination Commission? No way. She's already demoted me to managing the repository. What else does she want from me? There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. Either. I've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Chingjue for messing up once again. I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Miss Chingjue, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? Oh, uh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. You're amazing, Mr. Yang. You handled that well for an outsider. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Local Gate to you. Ugh, 
anyone here surprised? Here comes trouble. Uh, can't we run around to them for a change? There's more to life. Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Better make it sure. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move. Existence is unity. Let's make it quick. Let's begin. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Sound lingers. Yeah. Eternal. Some value, I suppose. Waiting means change. This is our chance. Rules are made to be broken. Who's next? Leave it to me. Decorative designs wouldn't go amiss. <gasps> Sound lingers. Eternal. There's more to life. Waiting means change. Every petal in life's garden, all will be swept away by the wind. Waiting means change. Yeah. Let's begin. My turn. Existence is unity. Some value, I suppose.
Eternal. Time for some hardship. The galaxy is vast beyond compare. Hmm. Sorry, the Cloud Knights have orders from the Master Diviner to secure the Commission's safety. The area up ahead is temporarily closed. This will definitely come in handy. This is the Matrix of Prescience, a large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Chingchue? A jade abacus is just... A jade abacus? <sighs> That's a good question, Mr. Yang. It might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. The book, Glimpses into the Beyond, describes it as... Living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation, so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Take the matrix of prescience here as an example. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions on anything. From the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. Seems like it, but Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Technology handed down from Noose. Huh. Even in Madame Herta's space station. I never saw anything related to Noose. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a jade abacus or a computer? Just like today. Would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. <laughs> D 
Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the Heaven and Thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fu Shen? <clears throat> it's an utter disaster. How's that for a Divination Commission fortune? The Matrix of Prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the Commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, this year. The boundless, omniscient. Bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Look, help has just arrived. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. <sighs> so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Jingchue is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. I was waiting for the Matrix of Prescience to resume operations so that you might gain insight into my divination techniques. It was rude of me to keep you waiting so long. No need for the formalities. We heard what the General said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well, then I'll keep this brief. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience space terminals. Xing Chue will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... I hath divined our future. We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. What? Which magic word? <sighs> the universal one? Please? Oh. Uh, please. Oh, good enough. <laughs> 